Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Gemstone Legends video, and in this video we're going to be talking about the updates that will be coming to the live game from version 38. Um, there's some things in here that were player requests and just a bunch of overall good changes, so I'm looking forward to this patch. Um, the last big patch we had brought about some things that people weren't as excited about, so it's nice to see that we're back on track for what I think are all positive changes. Um, so as we go through these, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if there's anything in particular that you are excited about. And uh, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe as well. Before we get to this video, if you haven't checked out Gemstone Legends yet, come check it out. There are no joke thousands of players from Empires and Puzzles that have come over already, and for good reason. Simply put, it's a really fun game with some big advantages over Empires and Puzzles. We both know that the players that join these games earliest are some of the most dominant players. And this game is starting to really take off, so the longer you wait, the more you miss out on. Not only can you support the channel by using the download link in the description of this video, or by scanning the QR code on your screen, but doing so will also give you a free $50 starter bonus with an epic hero gems, and gold coins, all for free, just by using the link or QR code provided. And then when you start, you'll gain access to beginner events exclusively for players who use the link or QR code provided that will give you another strong epic hero, a set of five star legendary equipment, and a platinum scroll for another guaranteed epic or legendary hero. Lastly, I have created a bunch of videos in a Gemstone Legends playlist on my YouTube channel to make learning this game as easy and fun as possible. So hit that download link in the description and get started with one of the most fun and deep Match 3 RPGs. There's a great community in Gemstone Legends. It has some huge advantages over Empires and Puzzles. And overall, I think you guys are really gonna like it. So first things first, um, I don't know how many people this affects, um, we're just going to go through these in order, but there is now something in place where after seven inactive days, the guild leader responsibility will be changed to the person with the highest team power in the guild. So that way, if you are in an active guild and the leader disappears for some reason, someone else will be put in charge sooner rather than later. Uh, the next really big change that I think has the potential to shake up a lot of the PvP aspects and will certainly be a part of constructing war teams when that time comes. Um, by the way, we'll, we'll be looking at the uh, teaser for Guild Wars, Guild Wars in a uh, future video here. Um, but that change is that the curse status can now stack. So the meta has become a positive status meta because one, it gives sort of pseudo immunity and two, those statuses um, bring out a lot of, or bring a lot of um, help to your heroes. So it's good in multiple ways. Curse is a negative status that removes one positive status per turn. And there used to only be one instance of curse allowed on a hero at a time, but now it is stackable. So you could be losing you know, potentially five of these uh, statuses on there and they are losing those other five um, positive statuses each turn. So that is going to shake things up. It's going to make curse heroes more um, usable and or necessary. So start looking around in the lexicon and seeing which of those heroes might be beneficial to you. Um, so next thing, they're adding a new level of difficulty. At this point, uh, Hell Mode was the hardest difficulty. It's not too hard to get through, and a lot of people use it for farming, including myself, so that says something about how challenging it is. They're adding an Inferno Mode that is meant to be very tough. So we don't know exactly how tough that will be, but from what we saw in the Raid Boss rework, I think they will be quite challenging, and I think they're aiming at more of... Um, an end game type of challenge, especially if you want to get 21 stars on each area. Um, it's going to be tough and you have to only use three heroes at a time. So it's going to take some strong heroes, but look at the rewards that you can get from these now. Um, 
lots of coins, lots of gems, three st- or, uh, four star and five star cauldrons, epic and legendary tomes, 20 gold scrolls, two platinum scrolls. So it'll be quite worth it. I think finishing hell mode, um, I don't know if it was full completion or just um, completing it, you know, beating all the levels basically. I think you get one platinum scroll and maybe something else. So this is a big step up with a lot more stuff along the way. And it will make replaying those levels a lot more worth it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, There are some new guild management features coming. Um, I think leading a guild can be a little difficult right now with communicating things and trying to get help from people. So you'll be able to appoint um, different people into help roles. One of them is vice leader, who's going to have the same rights as leaders. So that will allow people to divide up the responsibility more equally. Um, let's see here. So it'll be easier to see the attack and check in history um, to see who is actively participating versus who is not actively participating in these guild related events. Um, Check-ins and attacks on the raid boss during the day, the day before, and from the last seven days. So you can get a clear idea of, of who is doing their part, basically, which I think is a really cool change and is not something we ever saw in Empires and Puzzles. So it's nice to see a newer game putting in the effort to, to help out. Um, a new window on the guild tab where a guild leader is able to put the rules of the guild, pinned messages members contributions in events a chart that will allow members to check how many points other guild members have contributed towards the guild event so if you've been hiding behind other players to complete those things you will be exposed now unfortunately but it's all in the interest of fairness and making sure that everyone is contributing as equally as possible because that's how you're going to climb um that much higher they're also going to be adding a guild offer that will um give things to you and to all the guild members. So we've seen this in Empires and Puzzles, and there's also the option to donate anonymously if you prefer that. Um, But that is an interesting option as well. I know a lot of people like those kinds of offers where um, it gives a little bit of something to everyone. Um, So free artifact removal days, these were hinted at a while ago, and they will now be coming soon. So the way it's going to work is once every month for 24 hours you can swap artifacts on your heroes completely for free so this will allow you to try as many permutations as you want Um, i think it'll be a very busy period but the way that it works now sometimes you want to try a few things to see if it's better and then you might want to switch back and that can end up being a costly thing so you'll want to try to squeeze as much of that into this one day as you can um so it's nice to have that because that can save you millions of coins depending on how active you are. They're adding a new library feature which will include all the tool tips that exist throughout the game in one place. So you don't have to go, oh yeah, where do you see the um, color affinity stuff? Oh, you have to be in a level and then you have to click the button that's in there. No, you'll just be able to see all that stuff in one place. So that's a cool um, idea. I think this will be a new building on the base, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, Account management. So I'm not totally sure what's going on here, Um, but I think they're trying to make it easier for people who have multiple accounts or the same account across multiple devices maybe, where they allow you to skip the tutorial and some other things like that. I don't know if that'll benefit a ton of people, but um, this is all on the Reddit page if you do want to learn more about if that will impact you. Uh, Statistics windows. A lot of people have requested this. Um, A lot of people have requested to be able to see the statistics of your enemies and the Gemstone Legends team has held strong to not wanting to make that available. I think they like the idea that you can surprise someone with your hero build um, because there's a lot of customization possibility with the equipment that you put on. So, This will at least allow you to see it for your own heroes. You'll be able to see the artifacts, the stats from those, the statuses, um, abilities description, and you'll be able to see those in a number of places. So before the battle starts, battle summary, battlefield, many other places. 
And I think this will help you understand things like how the passive abilities of your heroes work um, and to know how they influence the stats. So just giving you a little bit more of a clear vantage point on what's going on with your heroes and how you can impact that, which I think is a great change. You'll be able to see this information for the raid bosses as well. Things like resistance, accuracy, speed, and mana gain. This will allow you to um, make more informed decisions without having to look really hard for this information. So if you know what the resistance is of a particular raid boss, then you know what your accuracy needs to be um, to be accurate enough to have an impact. And you can see some examples of what this will look like. Uh, this hero, Rena, you can see the gear that's on her and the various effects and stuff that will be um, present at different times depending on what's going on in the battle. So more clear information. I think that's a great change. Uh, a few random bug fixes and Italian language support, it looks like. Um, so yeah, you can pause on this part and look at those bug fixes. But overall, I think this is a bunch of good changes. Um, to me, it shows, one, that they're listening to players, and two, that they're very interested in developing the game um, to be better. So it's nice to see things that really are quality of life changes knowing that at the same time they're working hard on bringing things like Guild Wars and, you know, who knows what else, other um, other events or features that we don't know about yet. So glad to see they are um, busy making these changes for us. Glad to be able to review things with you. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.